gotta get this guy before he ends up killing half of Hollywood. Don't even blink. Just move. The plan is for you to hit the streets dressed as our jewel thief. But you better bring a lot of your buddies with you, because this guy's a death machine. Be careful, OK? You know where I can find Philly Joe Morton? They'll never find me. I'm uncatchable. OK, pus for brains. You're under arrest. Homicide. Do you have a last request? for me. your name, sweetheart? I'm Linda. <laughs> <laughs> You're some kind of buttercup. <laughs> I'm Candy. I'll bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? All right. All right, where do you keep your money? You got a safe? Where is it? Shut up! Shut up! Where's the safe? I ain't got a safe. Come on, man. You gotta have a safe. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll show you. Now. All right, yeah. All right. Uh -huh. No, what? Faster, fat man. Faster. I'll shoot your butt off. Huh? That sucker had a gun. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take it easy. Stay cool, man. Wait here. Come on. Hurry it up. All right. Hurry. All right. Stay cool, man. It's open. Now step back. All right. Step back. Stay cool. Stay right there, you hear me? You hear me? Yeah, I hear you! I hear you! to me good. I want to find out who that punk was, and I want my jewels back. And then I want them off. I want them dead. You understand? I want you to go out and give me the best that there is. I want some crazy freak who's going to get out there in that world and get me back my stuff. You understand? Yeah. I want them dead. Come on. They say he's the best, Mr. Lacey. Yeah, well, then how come I never heard of him? I can't answer that. You asked for someone from the punker world, and I got him. The people say he's guaranteed. 
Oh, I still never heard of him. They say he's a freaking genius. He can make a murder look like a hit and run or a mugging, you know, something like that. I mean, they say that, uh, that he's an artist. They can pull information out of a slab of concrete. looked yet? I told you I wouldn't. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, how'd you know they would have a safe? I didn't. But in a house that big, I took a shot. <sighs> this is so weird. First time out, we score this. <laughs> this study will have no validity if you don't give the questions an honest effort. Do you think that violence is increasing in your job? Yes. Do you think the increased violence on the job has affected you? Yes, I do. And what are your feelings towards criminals? Didn't you just ask me that? Do you ever feel that the criminals do what they do against you personally? No. Do you consider the criminal psychological condition when you approach them? Absolutely not. What do you think of Captain Weiler? As I told you at the outset, your answers are totally confidential. Captain Weiler is an okay guy, I suppose. Would you say that, in general, you respect those in authority? Generally, no. Do you feel that there's a significant role in police work for a psychiatric approach? No, do you? In general, then, what is your feeling about psychiatry? Ah, uh, well, you see, I look upon psychiatrists as the freeloaders of our society. Want some coffee? Hunter, McCall, I need the paperwork on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Are you working on it? Good. Yeah. By the way, have you two seen a shrink yet? Oh, yes, we've become one with one another. <laughs> How about you, McCall? Yeah. You know what? He was really fascinating. Good. Hurry up with that. He was not fascinating. How could you say that? Read my lips. He was fascinating. F-A-S-C-I-N-A-T-I-N-G. Fascinating. Bert, uh, where the hell are we? I think we're here. Get in the back. Come on, man, move it. Get in the back. We gotta hustle. Okay. Come on, man. Get 
in the back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Put them on. Put them on. Come on, man. Move it. Move it. We got to hustle. Come on. Let's go. Put them on. Now, you guys take those off once. Just once, and it's off. You got that? You got that? Yeah. Okay. Glasses off, glasses off. Give them here, man. All right. Okay, boys, turn your butts. I ain't waiting. Day. Move your butts, will you? Come on. Spoke to you on the phone. We we're uh, friends of little Stevie and Roxanne. Hey, look. You! Look. You coming to me because you need me. You got ripped off. Not me. You want to know who did it. So, you do it my way. Okay. Your way. How much do you get? Holding somewhere. Not your phony insurance numbers. Reality. About two million in jewels. Any of that? You got the documentation. Give it to me. You gonna be able to get my jewels back and take care of that other matter too? That's what I do, fool. Hey, you tell him, big guy. <laughs> and how much is this gonna cost me? Hundred thousand dollars. A hundred G's. Get him out of here. No. No. Hundred G's is fine. Hey, big guy. You are one cool sucker. <laughs> How long? As long as it takes. Get him out of here. Let's go, boys. Not only do I have to sit in that room and listen to that wimp's questions, I have to sit here and listen to you defend him. That's what drives me crazy. I don't think David's a wimp. David? We're on a first name basis now with this guy. David is the biggest wimp in the entire United States. Hunter. He is. Wimp. W-I-M-P. 
Hunter. What? You remember Dr. David Anson? Fascinating guy. You ready? Yes, sir. Oh, gee, you don't have to call me sir. Doctor or a simple master will do. She likes it. Looks perfect on you. Won't even have to have it sized. <laughs> Mr. Solly Held. I'm Solly Held. Uh, don't even blink. Uh, Just move. Uh, uh. Great, David. Thank you. Oh, hey, it was my pleasure. Uh, <laughs> listen, why don't we go for a night camp? I know this great place in the marina. I would like to, but um, I'm really tired. It's just a little too late for me. No problem. I'll probably have to go back into therapy, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. can make this a lot easier and a lot less painful by telling me what you know about the jewelry theft at Lucky Lacey's house. I don't know anything about it. Really? Do you have a last request? <laughs> if I can make you look like the victim of a mugging, I could do a bitch in one of them. Or a hit and run. It's always a bit messy, but... Very effective. I can't help you. I don't know anything. You know every ice job in town. Now tell me, who broke into Lacey's house? I don't know. Why don't you believe me? I can see I'm going to have to persuade you. It is OK, too. <laughs> Little man, you have five seconds. So, was he a wimp or not? <laughs> I knew he'd be a wimp. I don't think you understand this. What happens when I am off duty is my business, OK? A little touchy, aren't we? Oh, look, the most important thing is you had a good time, right? I did. Good. Thank you. So, moving right along, when are you going to go out the wimp again? Will you give it a rest? your interest from my personal life to this case? Listen, I'm a professional, as you well know. Besides, somebody has to look out after you. <sighs> Nobody has to look out after you. I'll be the judge of that.
Another day in Sodom and Gomorrah West. What do you got here, Barney? Uh, got a cold one. Looks like it was dumped here sometime last night. Any ID on him? Nothing. Oh, and prints on this guy as soon as you can get him. Thanks, Barney. Let's go. Well, uh, don't you want to stay and get some evidence? No, nope, he was dumped here overnight. Nothing else we can do. I'm telling you, this woman had a body on her you could die for. Yeah, so did you put a move on her? Now, Bruce, you never listened to me. She was a stiff. <laughs> <laughs> so funny in here. Uh, believe me, Hunter, you don't want to know. You don't. Oh, listen, Hunter, by the way, uh, did you hear what happened to Lucky Lacey, the jewel thief? No, what happened? Got hit by another jewel thief. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm having Princess Di and Mick Jagger over for dinner on Saturday night. Would you like to join us? Well, you put it that way, yeah. OK, great. I'll tell you what. I'll uh, talk to you before then. I got to go. Okay. I'm late. So this is Action Central, huh? I'm impressed. Carlos. I didn't think you came out during the daylight. <laughs> a morgue joke? Very bad taste. You know, I like women better when they're up and moving around. Carlos, did you come here for anything specific or just to check out the women? Check out the women. <laughs> no. Come on, how about a little tour? Well, that's the captain's office, that's Hunter and my desks, there's the coffee, and that's it. And there's Sergeant Hunter himself. You're losing something here, Steve. How nice. A little heroism staged for my visit? Carlos, if you're missing your horn, I believe Lost and Found is downstairs, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Listen, I need to talk to you guys. Like, in private. OK. Off the record, OK? I mean, I have enough problems with my boss. You know what I'm saying? The latest stiff you sent me. Emmy made his report, mugging. But I had to tell you guys there's something else. Something he missed. That dude had abrasions around his wrists. Handcuffs? That's right. Some sort of disgusting, putrefying, homosexual bondage act. Yeah, or it could be somebody that uses handcuffs in their line of work. Like a security guard or a cop. Makes sense. Ah, hand delivered, huh? Hi. How you doing, Dee? Good. How about you? All right. The prints you asked for. Great. Thank you. You mean to tell me you came all the way over here to hand deliver that? You know what your trouble is, Hunter? You don't appreciate your partner. Yeah, well, never mind that. How about lunch next week? Yeah, sure. Give me a call. I will. So long. Mm -hmm. Well, our stiff's name is Solly H. Held. I know that name. The guy's a jewelry fence. You know, that guy could use a couple sessions with the whip. Damn it, Matthew. There must be millions of dollars worth of jewels in here. We gotta find some place to sell it. Forget it, baby. We gotta just sit on it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We haven't seen a dime from our big robbery. What's the point? The point is it's too dangerous. We agreed, remember? To get away, to enjoy life. This is our ticket. Let's go for it. I'm telling you, it was unreal. <laughs> yeah, all right. Bill and Bob, Bill and Bob. Don't you guys ever work? I take it this visit's official. Yep, it is. Solly Held, fence. We got him as a DB two days ago. You guys have anything recent on him? No, sheet's clean because he's good. He's the number two or three fence on the east side. Probably moved 20 million in gems last year. He handled all the big heists. You know anybody want to kill him? No. No? Well, let's hit the streets. Yeah. Don't work too hard. Keep laughing. Later. Anywhere we'll see him through. Check this out. Maybe he wants his hair shined. What's the big idea, Freako? Wait a minute. You're not 
Richard Greenlee? What? <sighs> hey, I'm real sorry. I, I, I thought you were a guy that owed me a couple grand. <sighs> I'm saying I blew it. Okay? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go, man. <laughs> Come on! I swear, I, I don't know. I, I swear. Come on. You've worked with Lacey before. And it's a well-known fact that you know every job that goes down. I, 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 I do, but, but nobody knows nothing about that Lacey job. I don't believe you. Honest to God, I... It had to be somebody out of town or, or, uh, or an amateur. Come on. You think I'm a fool? Man, I swear. I swear. You better stop your swearing. Stop praying. You know, I hate to think that you're out online partying. <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead and think about it, because it happens. I do have a life other than driving around this heap with you, you know. Who was it, the jerk from the girl? Hunter. Not the nut doctor. I trust you mean David. Come on, you can do a lot better than that. You better shut up and drive. Let me tell you something. You guys are wimp. Drive. I feel it my duty to inform you you're dating a shut wimp. Shut up and drive. He's a wimp. Here we go, nice and cold, just like you like them. Spare us. You gotta have a little sense of humor about stiffs. You have to have a sense of humor. Some of my best friends are dead. Let's get on with it, okay? When I saw those wrists again, I had to call you. Yeah, we appreciate it. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bill and Bob. Good time. You know this guy? It's a guy named Hammond. He did a little bit of everything. Half and half, we're all crooked. Nah, he hasn't earned an honest dollar since he was 10. He's a friend of Lucky Lacey's. What, Jewel Heist? The very one. Jewels again, huh? They belong to my father. He, he just passed away. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, let me get our appraiser, Mr. Brooks. Excuse me. Some heavy box here. It's about time. Just be cool. Damn. What? Get these things and get out of here now. Come on. Not too fast. Okay. Just a moment, sir. Uh, miss. Just a moment, please. She gave me a hard time, man, a hard time. Does little Polly back off? Does the man back off, man? Oh, no, 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 I'm doing it, man. Hey, what you do, man? A speed kick in, man? It's oh, 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 hey, man. I didn't do nothing. Why do you always say that, Polly? Every time I see you, you say that. Look, you dudes got to stop sneaking up on me like this. Man, like, like you totally freaked me out. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, like, what do you dudes want? They want to know what the street says. The street says? Like what? Like what? What do we do for a living? Homicide, right? Yeah. Well, OK, man, there's, there's like, some, like some, some strange vibes on the street, man, like a very, like, ooh, like a weird heaviness. And people are tense, man, like very tense. And it's like they're afraid to talk because they're afraid to bleed, man. And I'm not too yada, yada, yada. I'm rapping all the time, man. But like I can't get tuned in on this one. I just, like, I can't get tuned in. Call it. Get tuned in. Call me. How come everybody in the jewelry business is getting knocked off, Scotty? I ain't got it, Hunter. I'm sorry. Let's go. Hey, what's a six-letter word for criminal? Scumball. That's eight. Bad guy. 
Ah, uh, Cupid doll for the little lady. Hey, what can I get you from our internationally famous kitchen? Nothing. We've already ate. Thank God. Hey, now, don't go poor mouth the cooking around here. Look, what do you know about jewelry business? Somebody got knocked off from Mucho Rocks. Yeah, Lucky Lacey. You got it. You don't need me on this. Oh, the murders. The murders, Bosco. I got to tell you about revenge. We don't need philosophy, Bosco. What we need are hard facts. Your partner just said it. Lucky Lacey. That's a hard fact. So that's it, right? See ya. Hey, can I get you anything to eat? No, no, we'll eat next time. Been saying that now for seven years, Hunter. It's a coincidence. What's this new chicken thing you, you have up here? Come on. Yeah, it looks good. I like it's onions. Lucky Lacey? Yeah. Homicide? I'd like to ask you a couple questions. You got a warrant? You want us to get one? Heck, no, I'm legitimate. <laughs> Can I get you something? Uh, wine, a brandy, a piece of meat or something? Nothing for me. How about you? Mm-mm. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the robbery at your home. I didn't report no robbery. Well, we didn't say you did. I think you better get your warrant. Get rid of him, Bert. Sit out, Bert. The warrant won't be necessary. We got what we came for, didn't we? We gotta talk. We are. You gotta put a hold on what I told you to do. A hold? The heat's coming down on me, man. They know. You've been talking? I haven't. It doesn't make any difference how they know. They know I'm calling it off. No. No, man. A deal's a deal. I put time in on this. What are you, crazy? I'm calling it off! This ain't good. Do you buy jewelry? Let's see it. Get out of here with this junk. What are you talking about? This stuff is good. Yeah, good and hot. Look, what do you give us for it? You kids want some advice? Bury that stuff deep and leave it for your old age. Otherwise, you may never have one. I asked you to come by because I happen to know what you guys are working on. Sometimes I got connections, if you know what I mean. Look, I'm going to level with you. I'm going to cooperate with you people. What the hell are you talking about? There's this guy out there doing this craziness. Not me. He's after the thief. It was his jewels that were stolen from me, all part of a legitimate gemstone purchase. I'm a collector. Look, my guys ran into this guy last night. And I'm doing this as a public service. You gotta stop him. Public service, did you hear that? Yes. This guy's a real nutcase. I met him in an abandoned building in Hollywood. I have no idea where it was, but you better bring a lot of your buddies with you, because this guy's a death machine. What's he look like? He's big. Real big. Black leather. In fact, he's bigger than you. We know that the jewel thief is 6'2", 6'3", muscular, 
Heavy metal leathers full out punk, right? Yeah, that's what Lacey says. So I had robbery pull in a marker. We persuaded Philly Joe Morton, one of the West Side's leading fences, to take a brief vacation courtesy of the department. Now, Hunter, the plan is for you to hit the streets dressed as our jewel thief who's looking for Philly Joe. But of course, you can't find him anywhere. Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. I'm gonna dress up as one of these uh, heavy metal punker guys. I'll do it. You know where I can find Philly Joe Morton? No, man. I haven't seen him. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. What about you? OK. You tell him when you do see him that the slammer wants to see him. You understand that? I'll do that. You do that. Your name Louis Gallo. I was told by a man that you can put me in touch with Philly Joe Morton. Is that correct? But that's what he said. That's what the man told me. Louis Gallo, that's what the man told me. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Listen, I want you to get the word out for me. There's this big guy in leathers, and he's looking for Philly Joe Morton. Got some ice for him. OK. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Thanks. Yeah. It's Suze. Let me in. All right. All right, baby. You're just what I've been looking for. Are you out of your mind? You better believe it. Have you been out on the street? There are cops everywhere, and they've got this drawing of you, man, and it looks just like you. <laughs> Lincoln, what is with you? I am trying to tell you they are crawling all over Hollywood looking for you. You can't go out there. Have they found me? Have they found me? No, no, they haven't. Well, Sue's baby, they never will. Because I'm Lincoln. I'm the man. They'll never find me. I'm uncatchable. I'm Lincoln. OK. OK, will you please put me down? Thank you, bud. I must get every damn catalog in the world. Lucky. Bud! <laughs> bud! <laughs> We're sorry. Bud! It's impossible. No, it's ridiculous. Lieutenant, we've been out there. We have put in the hours. Believe us. Just a minute. Maybe I'm missing something here. Now, this guy is like six foot eight, right? Right. He's dressed all in black leather and chains, right? He's got one of those big, weird punk hairdos, right? right. Yeah. He's going around grabbing people in broad daylight off the street. What the hell does this guy think he is, invisible? Well, he's acting that way. Look, we pounded the cement here, so the guy has to be holed up somewhere. Then dig him out. We got to get this guy before he ends up killing half of Hollywood. Looks like the pink hair, huh? Finn says you should wear a wire. You can tell Finn where to put his wire. He's right, you know. He's not right. Yes, he is. It's too dangerous without it. I'm going to stick close to you. What are you going to stick close to me? What do you want to do, ride piggyback through this whole deal? I'm doing it, all right? Yeah, well, just don't get me killed, huh? Thank you for the vote of confidence.
What if he doesn't reach out for you? He'll reach out for me. Be careful, OK? I'm always careful. So, which one of you lizards is going to be the first to have a spleen removed? Whoa! <laughs> Words on the street that you're looking for, uh, Philly Joe. Yeah, Philly Joe. Well, then, come on. Don't lose yourself trying to save me. I'll be OK. I was built that way. Just relax. Dude, aren't you? You jackass, that's not Philly Joe Morton. We're talking about the Lacey job, right? Yeah. When you talk with me, the Lacey deal is mine. I'll talk to you in private, not in front of these jackasses. Cut out. Get yourself a drink downstairs. Beat it, baby. Stupid, I'd have them on me. How do I know you got them? You're gonna have to trust me. I don't trust no one. Maybe that's your problem. I don't have a problem. Where are the jewels? I've got a sample. Want to see it? Yeah. Easy. Easy. Trust me. Hey, pus for brains. You're under arrest, homicide. You got a lot of explaining to do downtown about the murders of Solly Held and Paul Hammond. Spin around. Let's talk. Downtown, spin around. Weekend, young lady. It was a weekend. What do you mean? You weren't out with Dr. Fascinating? You know, you seem deeply interested in that subject. Any idea why? 
Well, I'm deeply interested in your personal welfare. Well, is it my welfare you're interested in, or could it be something else? And uh, what do we mean by that? Well, you don't have to get defensive about it. Was I defensive about it? Yes, and I detect a little bit of hostility there. Do you want to investigate that? I got it. You're doing the wimp, right? <laughs> the guy started psychoanalyzing me on our second date. Yeah, I knew it. So what did he find out? I'll never tell. Yes, you will. <laughs>